The crossbow MA1 weapon light stands out for a number of reasons. It's super compact, outputs up to 800 lumens, and has a built-in display to tell you how much battery it has left. But this is its best feature. It comes with its own holster, and we're going to take a look at the special combo package on this episode of Moondog Industries. This is the Warrior Land Crossbow Bundle, and what comes in this box is your Warrior Land Crossbow MA1 Compact Weapon Light and a holster. That's really cool. This is the first time that you buy a weapon light that I've seen that you get, you get a holster with your weapon light. But let's take a look at the crossbow here. And it is a very compact weapon light. Uh, it is less than three inches long, less than two inches tall, and less than an inch and a half thick. And it is quite a nice little weapon light here. And I have to say, I've reviewed quite a few weapon lights, and this is certainly not a budget weapon light in terms of its construction. It is really nicely built, all metal construction with, well, obviously not the, the glass lens there, uh, with just a few plastic pieces um, like the switch and uh, the activator switch, uh, the mode switch, and the um, adapter plate, or the rail key as they call it but it has a built-in um, laser that is piggybacked on the bottom of the unit, and uh, it is zeroable through uh, using an Allen key uh, for windage and elevation. And it also has a built-in rechargeable uh, battery uh, charging via this magnetic uh, plate or a, a contact uh, plate here. And these are becoming fairly fairly common now, this type. It uses a magnet and two contact pins, and the magnets prevent you from uh, attaching it um, in the wrong direction, uh, which could affect the charging, because I'm sure these are uh, these are polarized. But you can't attach it the other way because of the magnets per, um, don't want you to do that. And you just attach this to a USB um, power adapter or, uh, you know, your little or your carport or whatever, any or your computer that just uses a standard USB there. And what makes this really unique is that it has a display screen on the side there. So if you press activate your unit, it tells you how much battery life you have as well as the lumen output that it's giving out right now. So that's the that's the first weapon light that I've seen that has that feature on there. And of course, it is the first weapon light that I've seen that also comes with a its own holster, which is very handy because the problem with when with a lot of weapon lights is you know when you get them, you go through this whole process of trying to find a holster that fits your pistol and your your weapon light, um, and it can it can be kind of annoying um, to try out different ones, but um, they do come uh, with uh, with uh, various pistol models. Um, Warrior Land is offering um, most of the popular pistol brands. So this is the one for the Glock, uh, this particular combo here. And we're going to test this out uh, with a Glock 19. And for those staff members over at YouTube, this uh, pistol has been rendered safe to handle. There's no mag in the magwell, and we can look down here. There is no bullet in the chamber, so this pistol is perfectly safe to handle. We always practice safe firearms handling here, and this is an unmodified pistol. Uh, and attaching a flashlight to a pistol is not gun modification. Uh, a, you need to have um, be able to see your target to, uh, for, for safety reasons, and having a flashlight on a pistol um, makes it a much more uh, much more safe as well because you, you aren't holding on to a flashlight. The flashlight is attached to your weapon and you're able to hold your weapon with both hands, which again makes it much more secure. So having a weapon uh, weapon light is useful in that, in that manner. And we're gonna attach this on to our pistol just using this very advanced tool here known as a coin. And you can use a flathead screwdriver or what have you or even a guitar pick, I suppose, to attach this on. And it comes with five different adapter plates, uh, or as they call it, rail rail keys, 
depending on uh, which pistol you have, whether you have a SIG, CZ, or uh, Springfield, or Smith & Wesson, or what have you. It's covered in the, the user manual, all the different pistols that uh, correspond with the uh, with the rail case. So definitely read your user manual before using the product. Uh, the one that comes with default is the Glock 17. Well, obviously, you're getting the model that has the holster with the Glock uh, 17, for Glock 17 or Glock 19. And let's just test this out. See? Wow, okay, fits like a glove, which is not surprising. What's really nice is this is also cut. So if you have a RMR or whatever cut slide and a red dot, it is already designed to allow for that. And this, for those of you who don't know, this is a loopholed red dot for Glocks. But as you can see, quite a nice combo. And it activates with a simple press on either paddle, right or left hand, double press, turns on the strobe mode. And if you have it on the flashlight only mode, if you press both, turns on the candlelight or low light mode. And there's also a intermittent on by keeping pressure on the pressure pad. Once you let go, turns off and constant on with just a single tap. So there you go. Uh, we're going to give this flashlight a test next. We're going to see if the lumen output does output 800 lumens as uh, they claim, but first we're going to give it a full recharge. Then we're also going to do a runtime test as well as uh, a, a test on the beam pattern and the throw on this particular flashlight. Next. All right, we've had this running for 30 seconds to warm up the battery and we're going to put it into my testing rig which has been calibrated to a known 100 lumen lamp and I'm getting a reading of 307 which applying the conversion ratio yields 1228 lumens thereabouts so yeah this thing is pretty darn bright I fully recharged the battery and we're going to see how long it can run in high mode. The manufacturer claims an hour, so we're going to do a time lapse starting now. And it's starting to dim. And wow, okay, almost exactly one hour of runtime. In fact, two minutes over. Okay, this is on maximum 800 lumens. And we are looking at a hotspot about four, four and a half feet wide into the spill there. And I'm going to try setting it on candle mode. That is on low power. And let's see what the laser looks like. All right, the beam is illuminating a fruit tree 15 feet away can reach out to the wall there 50 feet away up the hill and all the way to a telephone pole across the street 120 feet away industry standard drop tester from one meter or three feet I'm gonna drop it from six feet twice onto rocks and dirt so we'll see if it still works All right, before we get started talking about the crossbow and holster combo kit, I'd like to ask you a quick favor. Hit that like button right now. It just takes a second to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And it's absolutely free. They won't charge you anything when you hit the subscribe button, but what you're doing is letting the algorithm know that these product review videos are the kind of things you like to watch. And if you hit the bell icon, you'll be notified when I post my next product review video. So about this product, uh, the crossbow is a really fine weapon light. And the fact that you get a, a holster uh, with it that fits you, the weapon light with a pistol attached, um, that's a no-brainer to me because it's always a bit of a challenge to find a holster that fits uh, your pistol with a weapon light on it. 
Um, so this one for sure does. And it actually, and I like the fact that it is cut for uh, for uh, red dots because you know that's a lot of folks are going that direction. And then the fact that uh, you know this comes together, well, you know, it's a no-brainer. Go for it. Uh, and I'm really impressed uh, with the build quality and the features of uh, the, the the Warrior Land crossbow. I like the little display display screen. It's handy. Um, I would have liked if there was a way to turn that off if you needed to. I mean, some guys are really want to be super stealthy, so they don't want to have any lights. They don't want to have any LED um, d displays on or, or anything. But of course, you could always put a little bit of tape on here. And um, unfortunately, there's no way to turn off the strobe mode on this. I, and I reached out to Warrior Land and they confirmed it. There is no lockout um, sort of scheme for the strobe. So for those of you who for that, that would be a deal breaker. Well, you know, then this is not the ideal light for you. But the fact that this thing outputs more than the than they claim, over a thousand lumens, that's very refreshing because I've tested a lot of weapon lights uh, and flashlights that don't come near close to what the manufacturer claims. So the fact that they've actually exceeded um, their claims of uh, you know lumen output, you know, that's, that's, that's great. So what are the negatives? What are the cons? Well, for me, the strobe controls make it a hard pass. But if that's a non-issue for you, let's talk about the holster. It's an inside the waistband concealed carry style holster, but there's no way to reposition the clip if you prefer an open carry over the waistband style holster or if you're left-handed. And it only fits a Glock 17 or 19, so if you have any other make or model, you're out of luck. But since the promo bundle costs as much as buying the light alone, you might as well get it and just give away the holster. So if you're interested in picking up um, this combo kit, uh, you can find more information as well as uh, product links in my full written review at moondogindustries.com. Comes in this nice little box over here, so you can even give it as a, as a gift because it actually looks pretty nifty as a, a Christmas gift uh, to a friend or yourself. So uh, definitely check that out. You can find it at moondogindustries.com. And again, uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching. Moondog out. Hey, I'd like to know what you thought of this video. Leave me a comment or chat with me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, MeWe, Instagram, or Locals. And if you want to see all of my videos, go to MoondogIndustries.com.